Welcome back to my coverage of the Waves Aquatic Centre redevelopment. This is episode 20, recorded on Sunday the 7th of August 2022. It's been six weeks since my last episode, and in that time so much has happened, including the news everyone has been waiting for. The official opening will be this month, according to the Hillshire Council website. On my visit today, the entrance to Off Street and Underground Parking was open, so I was able to take a drive around. Over in that left rear corner are the lift and stairs to the ground floor. For the latest information, check out the new Waves Fitness and Aquatic Centre website. You'll find the website link in the video description. This website has lots of information about opening hours, entry prices, fitness sessions and of course that cafe. Something I found that I wasn't aware of all the pools are heated. The 25 metre indoor pool is heated to 30 degrees Celsius and the two outdoor pools are heated to 26 degrees Celsius. Now on to what's changed since my last update and it's a long list. Number one, the cafe forecourt is finished. Number two, the splash pad is finished including bright yellow shade sails. Number three, shade sails have also been installed on the front of the clubhouse. Number four, play equipment and shade sails have been installed in front of the cabanas. Number five, a footpath has been completed along Millham Avenue fronting the entire length of the aquatic centre. Number six, turf has been laid over many areas. Number seven, starting blocks have been installed on outside pools. Number eight, covers have been installed on the two outside pools to limit evaporation, heat loss and chemical loss. Number nine, in the Rose Garden, steps down from Roxborough Park Road are nearly complete. And at number ten, more paths have been completed. Work is progressing inside the centre as well, of course, but I can't see that from the air. Just a reminder, this video and the map are ultra-high resolution 4K and therefore are best viewed on something larger than a phone, such as a tablet, notebook or desktop computer, ideally with a UHD screen. As usual, in this video I'll run the drone around the perimeter of the site to show you the current status and then compare the video from this episode with the last so you can see the differences. Remember to have a look at the video description for more information, particularly if you want to view the very high resolution drone maps I prepare for each episode. You can download the maps and then zoom in on those areas of particular interest to you. I've also included links to the architect's plans for the new aquatic centre. These have been on the Hillshire website for some time now, so they may not be up to date. In the description, you'll also find a link to all the episodes back to November 2020. If you find this video interesting, please like, share, subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Now, over to the drone circuit of the construction site and then the side-by-side -side comparison. No more commentary from here on, just the sounds of nature I recorded in the Rose Garden on one of my earlier visits.